question asks us to determine the sum of the series. By the way, does it ever bother you why sometimes we call it a sequence and sometimes we call it a series? Well, actually what is happening is the following. If I write the numbers like this, see how I separated with a semicolon, then we call this a sequence. If instead I plus the numbers together, then I just call it a series. That's all. So in this question, they want us to calculate the sum. We can also see that it's an arithmetic pattern because you are plussing two each time. So we would use the sum formula for an arithmetic pattern. However, we do not know how many terms we have. We don't know n. So what you do in a question like this is you use the TN formula and we know that the last term is 301 so we put the 301 over here and then a is 3 we don't know how many terms there are and then the common difference is 2 we can then solve this by moving the 3 over to the left hand side which will become 298 equals to n minus 1 times 2 now you could multiply the 2 into the bracket but what I like to do is divide by 2 on the left instead and so that will give us 149 equals n minus 1 and so if we solve for n we will find that n is equal to 150 this means we have 150 terms because we were using the last term and we found out that it's at position 150 it means that there should be 150 terms now we can come back to this formula and so we can say s of 150 terms is 150 over 2, 2 times a, which is 3, plus 150 minus 1, and then our common difference is 2. Go ahead, type that all in on the calculator, and you get an answer of 22,800.